So recently, aka like yesterday or the day before, a game by the name of Indigo Park released. It's a horror game, which I like horror games, so that's already a W. But I have to say this, this might be one of the best horror games I've played since 2020. 2020 was a release of Piggy, and this game was just insane. It's just so freaking good. Like, the animation is great, the music is great, it's not some cash grab, like, I, I know there's one YouTuber saying it is, <clears throat> Theft King, calling it a cash grab, when no, no it's not, there's not a merchandise store thrown on the main menu of the screen, you don't see that anywhere, you don't see a huge button saying, um, wishlist chapter 2, no, 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 instead they, there was a... Uh, what's it called? Yeah, there was a Kickstarter instead, and if it raised enough money, Chapter 2 would be made. Update, it hit, it hit, the, it, hit it hit the milestone, okay? That's all I have to say. It, it, it hit the milestone. That's all I wanted to, that's all I wanted to see. It hit the milestone, so Chapter 2 will be getting made, which is amazing, because I love this game. This, this is literally the best horror game I've seen since 2020. And, like I said, that was when Piggy released. All the other games we got asked for that were like, meh. I'm not counting FNAF. FNAF always has like good games. I mean like new horror games. So like Ban Ban, Poppy. What else did we get actually? Now that I think about it, what else did we get? Oh, Rainbow Friends. And Doors. Okay, Doors was actually good as well. Doors was good, but just like Poppy Playtime, Garson and Ban Ban, it took me a while to actually like those games. This game, when I first saw it, when, like, Twitter, someone was talking about it, so I immediately wishlisted it, because I thought it looked good. I wasn't disappointed. But games like Poppy Playtime, Ban Ban, Doors, it took me a while to really get into them. Um, Poppy Playtime, I didn't really get into it until Chapter 3. That's when I really got into it. Ban Ban, I only got into it, and I'm not really into it. The only reason I like it is because of the stupid Choo Choo Charles Easter egg. That, is, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen in a horror game, so I loved it after that. Um, Doors, it, I didn't really get into it until the April Fool's update. I always liked it, but I didn't love it. The April Fool's update, though, was really what made me love it. I had a fun time playing it, finally. Rainbow Friends. <clears throat> Rainbow Friends. Rainbow Friends is just trash, that's all. But let's talk a bit about this game. In the game, you play as a guy who is super buff, by the way, I should mention, like, Look at Fusion Z, look at Fusion Z Gamer's video of like hacking the game. The player model is so jacked, like damn, bro is buff. But you play as a player, duh. I think his name's Ed, according to the Wikipedia. I could be wrong, but I think it's what the Wikipedia said. Either way, I don't care. I never care about the player's name. That I I really don't care. The only one, the only player name I ever remembered was Henry from Benny and the Ink Machine. It might not even be Henry now that I think about it. I don't even know. It's been years. But you play as a guy, and you're basically going to this abandoned park. It doesn't really sound original, because there's a lot of games where you go where you go into like an abandoned build, abandoned building. But this one, it's different. You go to the park, you um, open a door, and then you find Rambly on the TV screen, and then you go inside the place. I'm just gonna I'm just doing a quick little poorly described rundown because I'm not gonna spoil everything. But yeah, you find Rambly, he basically goes along with you on your journey. He's a little 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 buddy to help you out. Some people are calling him Furry Bait. I literally saw some comments on the Steam page calling this game Furry Bait. Have you never heard of a freaking mascot to like Chuck E. Cheese? Disney? Hmm? Furry why are we calling this furry bait again? But basically, you go into the park, you go in some buildings, you collect some stuff, you collect a watch, which you can use on any door. You go into a, like, you, you go into, like, a theater, and there's a lion guy, and you have to escape him, and then he disappears because you, like, run away from him, or whatever, or yeah. <laughs> then you get what you need inside of the theater, you see a bird on your way out, you also see the bird a whole bunch of other times, so we're kind of skipping through it. I also just completely realized I kind of skipped past the train part, I believe. I'm pretty sure the train part was before the lion part, but I just completely skipped that. But yeah, you go on a, yeah, yeah, that is before. Oops. Um, you go on a train at the beginning before you get to the line where you go on a train. It, it's basically like a help one, not help wanted. What's the name of the game? Ruin? Either Ruin or Security Breach. 
one of the one of the two games has like a part where you're on a ride and there's like cardboard cutouts and they tell you a story. That's kind of what that's kind of what this is. Um, you go in the thing, you like turn on the power after a while because like the power breaks, and you meet the characters basically. She's also like a skunk character, I believe she is, but you don't know anything about her except she has a cutout that's ripped in half, but we never see her. So we don't know anything about this skunk character. I think I think there is a description for her, I just don't know where to find it, but we don't really know much about the skunk character except she's like a villain in the Indigo Park universe. I'm gonna guess she's gonna be like the main villain in the end. I, I could be terribly wrong, but that's my theory. She's the main villain in the end. But yeah, after we go on the train, we of course go to the lion part, I already explained what happened, we get a key, then we go to another building, and that building basically is where we go against the bird, I would say. And I believe we go in, I think this might be the place we go into, well, at least we're close to this part, I, I, I might be skipping some stuff, I probably am. But we go here, now we have like a chase scene with the bird, we, uh, yeah, we just have a chase scene with the bird, um, not really much to say. It's just a chase scene. And then in the end, you get into a room and her head gets freaking chopped off. Um, yeah, her head gets cut off by a door. <laughs> it was the most brutal thing I've seen in the game in a while. I was actually laughing because I was not expecting that to happen. Call me insane, but that was like the most unexpected thing ever. I really was not expecting that to happen. But that was insane. Her head gets cut off and a lot of blood is there. Like, a lot of freaking blood. I went back to make sure I didn't really miss anything, which, if I did, I did. I mean, I'm not trying to spoil everything. I mean, I kind of did. I, I said the bird died, but that's fine. I'm not trying to go over the entire game. I mean, I kind of am, but eh, forget it. Um, we beat the bird. She dies. Blah, 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 blah. Then we go to, like, a place. I don't know what it was called. But it has, like, a... I, I, I don't know, remember his name. It's, like, a... Lock? It's, it's Loch Ness Monster or something. It's, it's something. It's a weird monster underwater creature. We go to his place at the end. We see him. Chapter ends. And then there's a nice little song at the end, which is actually a freaking banger of a song. It really shouldn't be. But in my opinion, it's the greatest outro song. It's, no, it's the greatest game end credits song. Like, ever. It is that good. But yeah, that's basically the game. But I, I gave a poorly... I gave a terrible description of the game. Yes, 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 that's fine. But yeah, that's basically the game. I mean, I, I, that was like the quickest review of a game ever. I know it's very poor, but like that's the point. I'm not trying to give like a huge, massive one hour review. No, I'm just quickly going through it because I just want to talk about why I think this game's going to succeed, why I think this game's good. It's just a good game. It's just a good game. That's why I think it's going to succeed. It's really well made. It was made in like a year. It actually has love into it. Unlike Ban Ban, which was just made as a cash grab. Rainbow Friends, which I feel like was made as a cash grab. Poppy Playtime, which I feel was made as a cash grab. Like, you can, you can even say the same thing about Piggy, although them, it wasn't made for a cash grab. It was just made as a joke, but became popular and didn't have a story ready. Now, yes, I'm a huge Piggy fan, but I even... I even even I have to admit, Piggy isn't perfect, and it's one of those games where there wasn't a story ready, which really disappoints me. This game, I think, has a story ready. Unlike Rainbow Friends, uh, Ban Ban, where it's just all this stuff going on that makes no sense. I think this has a story, unlike those games I mentioned, and that's good. It also has good characters, characters that you can actually enjoy. Like, that aren't annoying. I mean, people might find Rambly annoying. I don't know, but I don't really find him annoying. I actually really like him. He's probably the greatest, like, helper character in any game. Better than Helpy. Would it be wrong if I said I like him more than pretty much every character we met in the Piggy franchise? Like, this guy just is a better friend than most of the Piggy characters. And I think this game, at some points, might be better than Piggy. That might be insane to say, because, like, I've been making Piggy videos for years. That I've always said that's been my favorite game, but, like, I don't know. This game might beat it, which is insane to say. But you might have realized I've not really been doing Piggy stuff anymore. I'm kind of leaving it. I'm Of course, I'm still going to make videos, but, like, I'm not rushing to get a Piggy video out. I'm mostly going to be doing Sonic, and if I can, 
this game. I'm kind of leaving Piggy behind on this channel. I'm still going to cover it, of course, but, like, not as much as I used to. I'm not having fun making videos on Piggy anymore. Like, top ten list, I don't care. Um, I had a video plan. I was going to compare the book and game characters. I don't even know if I'm going to release that anymore. I just don't like the video. I've not been happy with my Piggy videos, but Sonic videos, I'm happy with. Videos on this game... I actually have some ideas for videos on this game that I'm happy with. So, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I never said who made the game. Made by this guy, Unique Ga Unique Geese. Unique Geese, I think? Yeah, Unique Geese. Uh, it's a YouTuber who makes horror game videos. And I think he used to make Friday Night Funkin'. I don't, know, I don't really know what he does. Um, I'm subscribed to him, but I don't, I don't really know what he does. Um, so, yeah, that's what he does. I think Friday Night Funkin' and Random Horror Games. He also made a Garden of Ban Ban, um, like, remaster in, like, a week, which is really insane, to be honest. Also, I never mentioned this, but the Chapter 1 is free, just like every horror game. Usually, Chapter 1 is free, so you get to test it and see if you like it. And I love it. I freaking love it, so... Yay. Now, I think the next few chapters are going to be money, which is completely fair, and I totally understand, and I agree with. Um, I don't know if people are going to be happy with that decision, but, like, you got to make money. Like, that's why all these games immediately have merchandise. Money. But, like, I don't like that. I don't like when you immediately throw merchandise for a game that you don't even know if, if it's going to do good. Like, you have all this merchandise ready, and you have all these chapters ready, do you even know if your game's gonna be good? Like, Ban Ban, when that released, Chapter 2 is already there. It was ready. But you don't even know if your game's gonna be good. The only reason it really became good is because the big YouTubers played it, and people made a whole bunch of memes on it. But yes, this game kind of had the same thing, but, like, if this game didn't um, get played by all these YouTubers, then... Okay, that's fine. At least they're not promising a chapter 2 already. Ban Ban, if no one played that game, they were promising a chapter 2 that no one was ever going to play. So yeah, there's my little take on this game. Um, I might make a theory video on this game, actually. Because um, I, I feel like it. I actually feel like making theory videos on this game. Because it's a game I'm actually just invested into now. After one chapter, I'm invested um, it's kind of like how I felt with Piggy, but even then, this chapter 1 was way better than the Piggy chapter 1. I think with Piggy chapter 1, it was just a Roblox horror game that was different and unique, and I just, it was just easy to fall in love with, because I was a huge Roblox player, and I played a whole bunch of games at the time. And there, I was bored at the time when Roblox and COVID was happening, so I think because of COVID, I got into Piggy because there's really nothing else to do. This game... It's just good. Chapter 1 looks good. Animation's good. Characters are good. Voice acting is good. I don't know if I mentioned the voice acting. Maybe I did. I don't know. But Rambly has a great voice actor. Like, I love the voice acting for this guy so freaking much. It is just so good and it fits the look of this character so freaking well. I love it. So yeah, Indigo Park is the newest horror game and might be... Gonna, it's probably going to be considered as... One of the greatest horror mascot games. It's gonna, it's definitely gonna be on that list of horror mascot games like Freddy, Bendy, Baldy, Piggy, Blue from Rainbow Friends, because that's on the list for some reason. I hate that game so freaking much. Uh, Bam Bam. It's, I feel like it's gonna be on that list of famous mascot horror games in the future. Like already, it's very popular, and I know it's gonna have some success.